Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome for the very first time. My name is Emiko, aka That Hi-Fi Girl, and this is the place for all things hi-fi, music, and yes, dogs, although Victoria is fast asleep behind the camera right now. Anyway, um, today I want to talk to you about something really cool and really special. A little while ago, I had the great pleasure of being invited to a Bowers & Wilkins event that I attended at Soho House's Soho Warehouse location uh, in downtown LA. I went with uh, Brian Mitchell, CEO and um, founder of Acoustics, uh, for whom I do a lot of video series production work and hosting work. Um, check that out if you haven't already. And we went for this their PX7S2 active noise canceling Bluetooth headphones, uh, pictured here in stone or gray. These come in three colors. They come in black, this really deep navy blue, midnight blue sort of color, and then this stone gray color. And we got a chance to learn about Bowers and Wilkins messaging, their missions, the technology, uh, meet the crew, meet the team, and just have a right old good time. And so I thought I would make a video sort of chronicling the evening, the event, what we learned, what we got a chance to experience, how much care and attention to detail went into creating such an immersive event. So first of all, Soho House, for those of you who may not be familiar, is an exclusive members club. They have branches all over the world and their warehouse location in downtown LA is sort of a, an artistic offshoot of their traditional clubhouse. So. We were met with cocktails, uh, hand-passed appetizers, and listening stations all over um, the event space. And the thing that was really fascinating, for me at least, was that this was considered more of a lifestyle event. And I really loved that because it was the opportunity to introduce people who use headphones in their daily lives to hi-fi in a different way. So not an audio show, not a dealer event, but a party where you could then experience high-end, luxury, elevated listening experience. We were also treated to a musical performance up on the rooftop, which was absolutely wonderful. And we were also treated to a short film about how music is really at the forefront of everything that Bowers & Wilkins does. They interviewed a lot of artists that they work with. Bowers & Wilkins is known to be in the rooms at the legendary Abbey Road recording studios. So they really keep music as the forefront of their mission and vision. And as as a music creator, studio owner, producer, and composer, that is something that is essential and vital to me, that I know that if there's going to be a brand or a product in my home, that they have developed this with music at the forefront. So first and foremost, thank you to Bowers & Wilkins for these headphones. I'm so excited to unbox them. So this is the box. I will turn it around. I've decided to just do this very organically today so that you can see everything. It's got a sleeve that comes off. And now we get to it. I have, I have literally not unboxed this, so I don't know. I've not even taken a, a preparatory peek. I have no idea what it looks like inside. Um, okay, let's see. Okay. <laughs> I am immediately met with the case. Uh, so I will now take this out of the box. Okay. First of all, um, at the bottom of the box, I'll just turn this around like this. There is a little um, packet. And in this packet, is. I'm bad at opening these things. Oof, hold on. Yeah, see, I've already started to rip it. Okay, there we go. So this is your quick start guide to the PX7 S2 and PX8. And then here is your warranty and safety booklet. So you've got two little things to read. Here is the case. It is beautiful. It feels very nice to the touch. It's it's already, you can tell that this is just a beautiful product. Um, let's open it up and see. So this opens side to side this way. And here they are, look! This makes me very happy. Um, I'm also very happy just because they're not black. Don't get me wrong, I love black headphones. I have many, 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 many pairs of them. But the fact that I now have a pair of headphones that are not black, something new. As you can tell, I like color. Uh, okay, so them out, labeled left and right inside the ear pads. Oh, they feel, they feel like I'm wearing little pillows on my head. They feel so nice. Okay, 
The PX7S2 is an evolution from their previous headphones and what they did was they improved the microphone, they improved their bass performance, battery life is up to 30 hours in a single charge, custom developed 40 millimeter drivers, which makes the sound spectacular. So something to point out is that this right here opens up from the top, it's a secret compartment with a magnetic closure on top and in here are your cables. So you have an eight inch stereo to USB-C cable and then this is USB-C to USB-C. So let's get to turning these on. Oh goodness, Victoria. Victoria, can you not snore please? <laughs> okay, I'm trying to make a Bowers and Wilkins video here and Victoria is just out like a light right now, snoring, sawing logs in the background. So on the exterior right side rear back panel of the headphones is where you are going to find all of your control buttons. Now what I like especially about the way that Bowers and Wilkins has laid this out is that you don't have to worry about tapping something twice or holding something a little bit longer. Did I hold it long enough? Oh no, I held it too long. Now I've powered it down. Each button has a specific function. So from the top going down to the bottom, first you have your power button, which also doubles for your Bluetooth on and off. The next button that you have is for your volume increase, uh, and it also answers the phone. The button below that one, which has ridges on it, so it feels different to the touch. Also something that they thought of to make these headphones a little extra special. That button is your play and pause button, and then the button below that is your volume decrease and your hang up the phone button. The ridges on the middle button I think are actually more essential than people would realize because I think when you are, for example, if you're listening to headphones and you want to turn something on or off, you want to pause it or whatever, if all the buttons are smooth you have to sort of count to see which button you're going to hit, but just by feeling it with your thumb you know that that's your play and pause button. To turn it on, you're going to push the power button up and you'll hear a little bell. If you hold it uh, for about three to five seconds, the blue button will start blinking. That means that your Bluetooth is on and ready to go. I'm going to open the Bluetooth section on my phone, discover other devices, and there it is, the PX7S2. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Then you hear sort of a, another little bing bong bell, which confirms that. Now, it says, app not installed. The accessory Bowers and Wilkins PX7 uses an app that you do not have installed. Would you like to get this from the app store? You have the option to download it or you can hit the ignore button if you want. Let's see what happens if I hit the ignore button. The PX7 is still, it's still connected. So now let's listen to some tunes. Let's see what happens. Hold on. You know what's funny about making videos like this is that I never know what song to pick as the first song. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's do this one. This, this is always a good one. Okay, so I'm going to pause that for a minute. And here's, here's what I can tell you. <laughs> These sound great. So a couple of other things that I want to point out to you about the PX7 S2s are that the ear caps move all the way around. These swivel, these are 180 swivel. And the other thing is that the, the ear pads are interchangeable and replaceable. With a little bit of, they just pop off like that. They just, they literally snap right back on. It's so easy. They snap on in multiple places so you know that they are secured. Put them right back on and they feel, they feel the same. And it's funny because I had a conversation with the Bowers team about why they decided to do that. And the answer was, other than from the utilitarian standpoint of sometimes they wear out if you're very, very hard wearing or if they get damaged, was that you can swap these out with other colors. And so specifically the black and the navy blue uh, that they offer for this model, they're all interchangeable. And so what that means is that if you have a household that has more than one pair of these, you can identify easily which pair is yours. And I don't know about you all, but my headphones are my headphones. And that's, I'm very possessive about them and that's how I feel. So anything that allows me to identify my headphones as my own is very much appreciated. I decided to take a minute and actually install the Bowers and Wilkins app on my phone. You can use the headphones without them and it works totally fine, but I wanna see what this is all about. So in your quick start guide, you've got a QR code, scan that, 
from your phone and it leads you to a choice of the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. It downloads the Barrows and Wilkins music app. To be clear, there are two or three apps that are available. If you were to just go into the App Store and search Bowers and Wilkins, you would have a headphone app, you'd have the music app, and then there's something else that I don't remember. But anyway, you go in, you create an account, very simple to do. So then the app asks you for permissions to use a local network. I chose yes. And then the app starts looking for the device. So be careful because if you have more than one Bowers and Wilkins component in your space, it's going to find all of them. And then once you have the headphones, you you get this great quick screen that tells you what devices you can use. So in my case, I've got my iPhone and I've got the iPad. You have the option for noise cancellation, pass through, and then there's a button that says off. And then at the top of the screen, there's a quick start guide which shows you the volume controls, as I said. Then there's a function called environment control, and that's the quick action customizable button that I talked about earlier on the rear left headphone exterior. And that cycles between noise cancellation, pass through, or off. That button is also customizable, as I said, and guess what? You can customize that to trigger voice assistance. That is a big deal. This can all be managed in the settings. And then you also have this ability, uh, they have something called a wear sensor. And I'm reading directly from the app now so that I make sure that this is very accurate. It says lift an ear cup or remove your headphones to pause playback. This feature can be turned on or off in settings. That's pretty neat. And in my case, the settings screen, it's gonna retrieve all of these details in here where I have my treble and my bass settings, which are adjustable. I can use this as an EQ and make this into whatever, whatever I want. And then there's auto standby, wear sensor, streaming quality, because this can do 24 bit playback data usage. So medium, high and highest or reduced depending on your streaming music subscription. And then I can rename my product and give it a nickname. So at the moment it's default, of course, is the product name. Um, and then there's the factory reset button, which I am not going to press because I don't want to mess with it. And that's that. So when I make these videos, they're not really meant to be reviews. I am by trade, not a reviewer. That is not my place in the industry or in the community. I do like to share my opinions and my experiences. Um, I also like to encourage others to get in on that conversation. I like to do unboxings and share how to's, but in this case, I do want to offer a little bit of feedback, which are that they are spectacular. They are a tremendous piece of art and technology harmoniously melded together into this product. And I have to say as someone that listens to a lot of rock, a lot of jazz, um, a lot of vocal music, a lot of stuff that has keyboards, electric guitars, big, big, big drums. These headphones have a wonderful, very realistic soundstage. I feel like there's a lot of room in there for reverb accuracy, which is important because I think that sometimes headphones will compress a reverb tail and you lose the dynamics, you lose the depth of a song, you lose that depth in the emotion. And these really haven't done that. And uh, I really appreciate that about these particular headphones. I also feel like the balance between the vocals and the rest of the track is really good. Sometimes you get headphones that just their default position with EQ is that they want to push the vocals all the way forward as far in your face as they'll go. There are a lot of other headphone manufacturers that want to make sure that you hear nothing but bass, 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 all the time, bass, 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 and I'm not hating on bass at all, but a track, a song, a piece of, a piece of music is all parts working together. And so just because there's more bass doesn't mean that it's better. Just because it's louder doesn't mean that it's better. And Bowers and Wilkins has done a beautiful job making sure that everything is just balanced, just so. If we were going to play Goldilocks and the Three Bears with headphones, this would be the just right headphone. And with a price point of $3.99 plus tax, yes, it's, you know, perhaps for those that are used to spending 50 bucks, 60 bucks, 100 bucks on headphones, this may seem like a jump. But for those of you that are used to spending in the high hundreds and thousands on headphones, I feel confident that people from either side will be pleasantly surprised. And frankly, these are meant to go everywhere with you. But anyway, this is my experience unboxing and turning on the Bowers and Wilkins PX7 S2 headphones in gray. I think they're stone colored, whatever. Don't come at me. Bowers and Wilkins will talk about that. Uh, you really should make one in 
purple. I'm just, I'm just saying. Anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you have a pair of these or any of their other headphones and you wanna share your experiences, please feel free to drop a comment wherever you're watching this. Obviously, if you have any questions, if you have other headphone questions, other hi-fi questions, let it be known in the comment section below. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn your notifications on so you never miss another video. I'm sorry that Victoria was not here with me, but she is still behind the camera, sleeping gonna wake her up. Anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. <laughs> and thank you to Bowers and Wilkins uh, for the headphones and for a lovely event. And I'm gonna go turn on some tunes and um, keep listening. So see you all next time everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!